Hey guys, so today we are unboxing the Trifo Lucy. I have been wanting this since it was first announced at CES a couple years ago. Um, and believe it or not, I found this on eBay for a hundred bucks. So let's see if it's worth the hundred dollars. It's gonna cut all the tape. All right, let's dig right into it. Let's have a little user manual. Some cardboard. This is the pet model, and the difference between the regular model and the pet model is this one has a little bit more suction power, and it has a, and it comes with this, which is a suction only for in case there's a, in case you don't want the, if you don't want the hair to get stuck in the roller. I believe Trifo calls it the, um, the pet hair extractor, I think that's what they call it. Here's the docking station. What's kind of interesting about this robot is it has the contacts kind of like a, on a, this is just an example, a Roomba or something. Um, but it actually backs into this charger. Um, here's the dock. Pretty good size dock. It has a cord wrap, which you think more robots would have that, but a lot of robots don't, believe it or not. Let's actually put this over here. There's the power adapter. Can't seem to get it. Oh, that's why. It's not even opening it correctly. I don't know why this isn't opening. There we go. Here's the power adapter. Pretty long cord, which is always good. Good sized cord, which is always nice. And here's the thing. This thing came with a mop, and it's actually really cheap. All you do is it literally uses Velcro to hold it on, and it's um, a water-fed system. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't buy this robot whatsoever for the mopping. So if you want a robot that mops, get something better. Here's the robot. Good size robot. Bigger than some I've had, but I've had some that are that are smaller, which would be nice, but here's the brush roll. Once again, there's a pet hair extractor, so all you do is you Take off these two clips, take out the brush roll, and slide this in. There you go. Charging contacts, Velcro's for the mop, which is really cheap. The sensors, two good sized wheels. Here's the camera, which it uses for its navigation and optical winds. I did have some tests coming. I'm gonna order some fake dog poop and see if this will avoid the fake dog poop. Let's open it up, click this button. I did. Here's the dustbin. Good size dustbin. You have a, you 
USB charging cord and a reset button, and then a Wi-Fi indicator along with the parts for the two buttons. Let's go ahead and turn it on. A fan turned on. A little light flashing. do that before. Is the docking station. It's the way this docks is it would be set on the ground. And then compared to other robots I have, it backs into it. Which is kind of helpful, but at the same time I've never had a robot do that before. Let's see if we can Personally, I'm not going to use the suction port, so let's take it out. Same way you put it in, just pull out a couple ports or uh, tabs. Insert the brush roll. Put the cover back on. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn it on. Well, you're not going to position yourself because you've never been here. So that's really it for this unboxing. Uh, be sure to comment below if there's any tests you want me to do with this guy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this up to my app. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.